late, sis. You late, and you wasn't five minutes late. Like, you was like 12 minutes late. And no type of apology. Like, you know, what? <laughs> I don't know. Hey fam, so it's a whole lot of days later. I don't even know the last time I picked up the camera. But today is a new day. I have to do some errands for the business. I'm gonna go to, I gotta go to Walmart, have to go to Ross. I wanna try to find a little small vase. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do fake flowers or fresh flowers, so I kind of want to go out and see what I can find. If I find a really nice fake uh, florals in a vase, then I'll get that. If not, I'll just buy a vase and then I'll get real flowers. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I kind of like this plant that Hiram has. This was his. Um, he used this for the podcast and I like it because it's simple and clean and green, but I don't know if this is what I want because my um, tabletop, oh, my table came in, I don't know, a couple days ago, a while ago. Um, and the tabletop is white, so I don't know if I want the white tabletop with the white pot. I may just do glass, so. Okay, so I'm in the car. And I just, I have to ask y'all a question. I have this nail lady that I've been going to for not like a long, long, long time, but a while. I've been going to her for a while. And um, I don't, she get on my nerves. I, I don't know how else to say it. I don't know how else to say it. The lady get on my nerves. Like she's a little rude. I was late for my appointment, like five minutes late one time ever. She canceled my appointment and would not take me. Like she canceled my appointment. Well, today, she was like almost 15 minutes, well, like 12 minutes late. Anything over 10 minutes late, fam, that's late, late. Like, you, you done ran out. The lady did not apologize. She don't greet you when you sit down. And I'm, my thing is, you know, we don't have to be best friends. But the least you could do when a person sit down at your chair is say, hi, how you doing? That's it. Like, that's all I'm looking for no hi how you doing no i'm sorry i'm late now they have a policy where if you are late like i think they charge you depending on how late you are they charge you a fee or whatever i didn't get charged a fee because like i said i was only five minutes late but she did cancel my appointment and she was like no i cannot take you <laughs> like she was not playing which okay i get it but now you late sis you late and you wasn't five minutes late like you was like 12 minutes late and no type of apology like you know what <laughs> i don't know so this is my dilemma even with all of that being said the lady can do some nails i like the way she does my nails like i really do today is not my favorite set and i don't know if it's because she was rushing because she was late by 12 minutes or what but most of the time like 98% of the time I like the way she do my nails my question to you is what is more important to you do you value customer service more or do you value skill and technique more like would you stay with a person who's doing your nails or doing your hair or whatever because you like the way they do their job but you don't necessarily get good customer service you know would you stay with that person or is customer service more important to you i know for me i have always said that when it comes to certain things not everything across the board but when it comes to certain things i don't even concern myself with the cost of it per se 
if I'm getting good quality customer service like if the customer service is top-notch but you charge more than the average I will pay it like I will pay it because I'm almost guaranteed that every time I'm gonna get good service with the exception of you know people have bad days people have off days that's to be expected but I've always said that so I'm like okay do I go find somebody else with a better environment better customer service or do I just stay with this lady who get on my nerves but I just so happen to like the way she does my nails like I don't know I don't know I think I know what I'm gonna do but I'm curious to know what y'all think. What would you do? Would you stay? Or would you chop out? I feel like people are gonna say, girl, just go somewhere else. Like, it ain't that deep, but mm, I, I don't know. When it comes to hair, like certain things, you can't just let anybody in your head. I don't want just anybody doing my nails it's a nail shop on every corner just like it's a church on every corner but just because it's a nail shop on every corner don't mean that everybody up in there can do nails child nails and went up do you hear me nails and went up do i want to spend that kind of money hopping around trying to find a good nail tech to me this is part of self-care i don't get my nails done often so when i get my nails done I want to have a good overall experience. So right now I am going to go to Ross. I know Ross has home decor items, but it's been so long since I've been in there looking at home decor that I don't know if they have flowers, like vases and flowers and stuff like that. So I am back home. I had to do some work on social media. So now I'm getting ready to start dinner. It's like quarter to six. I'm going to make sandwich for the boys because that's quick. And um, I'm going to get right back to work. I have a lot to do. I was going to try to put that table together, but I'm going to wait and do that um, tomorrow. So I am on a fast right now. But my kids are not. My kids are not fasting. So I have to make food for them that I cannot eat. And it has been interesting. Let's just say that. Say hi to the vlog. Another day. Another vlog. Another vlog. <laughs> As you saw, I put that table together. I'll show it to you up close. First, I thought it was gonna be too short, but I feel like it's the perfect height for what I am going for, for the look I'm going for. I packaged an order. Your girl has been so excited about this last launch. You guys have been really loving the clothes. That Luna blazer has been selling like off the shelves off the shelves people have really really been into that blazer and i understand why because i love it i think it's beautiful so anyway i had to go to the post office to drop that order off tonight is family night so we went to the store we got 
pizza and the drinks. I won't be having the pizza because I'm on a fast. So this is the table. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love it so much. Super simple, literally three legs. The screws were already in the legs. All I had to do was screw it to the tabletop and that was it, bro. Yeah. <laughs>